The secret to Bondo and having success with it depends on how much hardener you put into the Bondo. The problem with mixing Bondo, especially for beginners, is knowing how much hardener to put into the Bondo. Now if you're going to have too much or too little hardener in the Bondo, I would take too much. Not enough hardener in the Bondo means it will not harden or cure. If you have too much hardener, the Bondo will still harden, however it will set up very quickly and you won't have a lot of time to work with it. When you purchase Bondo, it comes with the hardener. The tube of hardener that comes with the Bondo is enough for the entire can. Most of the times when you're down to the last of the Bondo, you don't have enough hardener. Don't worry if you don't have enough, you can purchase hardener separately. One of the most common causes of Bondo failure is not having it thoroughly mixed. You want to make sure that it's an even color throughout. If you have any gray streaks left in the Bondo when you apply it, those gray streaks will not harden. Then you're going to have to find a way to get all that Bondo off in order to fix the problem. You also want to be quick mixing Bondo. The longer you take mixing it, the less time you have to apply it. Now how do you know if you have enough hardener in the Bondo? If you use Bondo and Bondo brand spreaders, you will have the proper mixture when the Bondo matches the color of the Bondo spreader. If the color of your Bondo is lighter than the Bondo spreader, you need to add more hardener. It's okay to make it darker, it'll still harden, it's just going to harden a lot quicker. As I'm editing this video, I can see that the color looks different from the spatula. So the camera is doing something a little bit different. But in person, the color is a lot closer to the spatula than it is in the camera. I don't know if this is true with other body fillers. I would only trust this with Bondo brand Bondo and the Bondo brand spreaders. As always, I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.